How to use auto clicker on iPhone. Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up and use the built in auto clicker on your iPhone so it can automatically tap the screen for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end, and let's get started. First, unlock your iPhone and open the Settings app. Once you're in Settings, scroll down until you see Accessibility and tap to open it. Accessibility has a lot of powerful tools built in that many people don't realize are there, including this auto-click feature we'll set up now. Inside Accessibility, scroll down and look for Switch Control. Tap Switch Control to open its settings. Once in the Switch Control. This is the main feature we'll use to create the automatic tapping. Now tap on Switches at the top. On the Switches screen, tap Add New Switch. You'll see a few options here. Tap Screen since we want the taps to happen on your display. Then choose Full Screen. After that, make sure you select Tap as the action. This tells your iPhone that whenever this switch is triggered, it should perform a tap anywhere on the screen. Once you've added your full screen, tap Go Back to the Main Switch Control menu. Scroll down and find Recipes. This is where you create the actual auto-click action. Tap Recipes, then select Create New Recipe. You can name it something easy to remember. Here, I'm just going to call it Auto Click Test. After you name it, tap Assign a Switch and choose Full Screen. Next, tap Custom Gesture, once in the Custom Gesture. This screen will let you record exactly where you want your iPhone to tap and how often. Just tap on the spot you want the Auto Clicker to hit. For example, if you're refreshing a page in Safari, Tap in the lower corner where the Reload button is. You can tap more than once in different spots if you need to. Take your time here and be sure to space out your taps within the time bar at the bottom. This helps your iPhone repeat the gesture smoothly. When you're satisfied with the gestures you've created, tap Save in the top right. After saving, go back to the Recipes screen. Find Launch Recipe and tap it. Then select the name of the recipe you just created this step makes sure your iPhone knows to use your new auto-clicking action whenever switch control is turned on. Now return to the main accessibility settings page. Scroll all the way to the bottom and tap Accessibility Shortcut. From this list, select Switch Control. This lets you quickly enable or disable the auto-clicker just by triple-clicking the side power button. You're ready to test it out. Go to any screen where you'd like to use the auto-clicker. Triple-click the side button and a menu will pop up. Tap Switch Control to turn it on. Once Switch Control is active, tap anywhere on the screen and your iPhone will start replaying the gesture you recorded over and over. For example, you'll see it repeatedly tap the Refresh button, automatically reloading your page without any extra input. When you're finished, simply triple-click the side button again and Switch Control will turn off. This stops the auto clicker and returns your phone to normal touch mode. And that's it. That's how you set up and use the built in auto clicker on your iPhone without needing any extra apps or tools. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more iPhone tips, tutorials, and tech guides. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope this helps you save time with automatic tapping. That's all for the video, and see you in the next one.